Hello everyone. Just an update. We are uh, working on the fan. I'm getting the parts ordered, but they said it's going to take like, I mean, it may go faster, but they said it's like 11 to 14 days just to get them back. Um, and that's through PCB way. So I don't know if that's just an estimation, but we'll see what happens. And then we'll get this rebuilt. Um, put back on this fan here. And we'll get this thing spun up with some metal gears with that motor. That monster motor right there. So, well, while we're waiting for that, we'll be getting the servos installed on this one here. And uh, getting everything kind of fit and ready for the, for the maiden flight of this. Which, I don't know what day that'll be, but you can, it'll be soon. <laughs> I just got to get uh, 120 amp ESC. I was going to use the Avian, but the last Avian I had blew up on me. So, I don't know. It's saying use a 120. That's an Avian 100. I think if I push it, I'm going to have the same thing. That have. I mean, if you look back on the other videos when I was running the, the fans on some of the, on some of the different Avian products, um, I had that big 150 amp avian just explode on me so um yeah that was interesting so like i have the 100 amp like i said avian but i'm not going to use it i'm going to use i'm going to just pick up the 120 the analog 120 one that they have the that they suggested for it it's only 45 bucks you know it'll get here in a day or two and then i can get everything set up i'm going to use uh my receiver then I have on my test rig for the test flight, um, or pick another one up. They're 18 bucks. This is what I love about using the cheap stuff for testing. It's because you can just throw everything in here and see if it works. Um, that has a speedy BF405 wing in it, which is why I have to use the uh, TX16S to run it. So, yeah, that was an experiment, you know, to, to mess with the horizon lock and uh, loitering, things like that. So... Um, yeah, and I still have the old reflex too that came out of that, which I will put in that, which is right here. That'll help me with some stabilization while I'm testing its aerodynamics. So that's the update as of now. Waiting for metal, getting a few other pieces for this, and then getting it in the air with that 90 and see what happens. I'm going to try and get the uh, like a catapult launcher set up or something, um, or just get some cheap wheels put on it. Send it.